While President Obama proposes funding clean energy with an oil tax, you may have missed the cable that charges your phone and backs up your data, the latest plasma reactor firing up, and embracing the robot you know you are in your cold, dead heart. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where the search engine that delivers the perfect Simpsons moment is how I'm communicating from here on out. That's dumb. Is it? This is why we can't have nice things. Go! Ever wonder what it would be like to actually be a robot? It's time to experience it. A team from UC Berkeley is using VR, motion capture, and spatial mapping to put users inside the body of a PR2 robot. They're calling the technique robotic tile operation, which allows users to control the robot like a 21st century claw game, except this time you won't have to waste a pocket full of quarters to get the prize you were waiting for. Oh, okay, okay. Maybe I got Oh, son of a After nearly two decades of design and construction, Germany's Max Planck Institute for Plasma Physics just activated the world's first twisted plasma reactor. Unlike earlier Tokamak designs, the new reactor should be able to safely run continuously instead of in short bursts. The $1.3 billion machine will operate until mid-March when the institute upgrades its capabilities. If all goes well, this technology could lead to a safer and more sustainable alternative to modern nuclear power plants. Your fancy smartphone probably backs up all your photos to the cloud automatically, but it can't hurt to have an offline backup of your backup. If redundancy is your thing, you might be interested in the meme cable. It's a charging cable that, every time you plug your phone in, also backs up all your data directly to the meme. So obviously, don't lose it. If it gets stolen, don't worry too much. It is password protected, so only really dedicated spies or ex-girlfriends will crack it. <laughs> It's on Kickstarter now in both Lightning and Micro USB versions starting at about $60. And now, TLDR, where we do the week's reading for you, because it's actually a real good time. Oral Roberts University is issuing freshmen mandatory fitness trackers, but promises not to track how often they're having sex. Uber drivers took to the streets of San Francisco to protest the company. Google began testing its self-driving cars in Washington state. Hondas were calling 2.2 million more vehicles over faulty airbags. And Taylor Swift is getting her very own mobile game. I hope that means there's still a god. This episode was brought to you by Go90.